So you've gone and done yourself a favour and bought yourself an arch lever. The best thing since sliced bread. So you've unpacked your lever out of your box. There's a few little things to do first. Get yourself some grease, whatever you use on your machine is fine. We just want to put a couple little dollops on the cam itself to help lube it up. We all know a little bit of lube goes a long way. Okay, so you've wound your lever into your spider bracket of the receiver. And now what we want to try and do is get the tension right. Obviously we don't want it too loose. We want to be able to take the receiver on and off, but we don't want it too tight. So we keep winding around until we get the tension that we want. For this one I'm going to over tighten it to show you. So obviously that's way too tight. Can't pull it around, we're going to cause damage. So make sure we get it where we where it feels right and where you can snap it over with ease. So now what we want to do is make sure that we get our tension right. So if it's too tight or too loose, the, the handle comes with two washers. We call them spacer washers. There's a one and a half mil and a two mil. Now you can leave them on. This one tightens up okay with them on, as we showed you before. Or you can take them off or one off or two off to get that desired tension. So on this receiver, I've ended up, I've taken one of the spacers out. It still closes over nicely. You could probably even run the two, but this is just for the demonstration. So that's a 995 receiver. And now to show you on the uh, real operator's receiver, an MT900. This one has two, the two keeps the two spaces there. It's a little bit tighter than the other one, but that's still pretty good. If it's a little bit tight, can still come around underneath, which I'd probably do with this one now, just to take that tension off it a little bit. There you have it.